Okay, we're back with, I still didn't get the blower fixed. I gotta go online and look. I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna buy a battery that costs the same price as the actual damn blower. And he said, what? I'm starting to understand, maybe they got some kind of scam running here. The battery dies every two minutes and then you gotta go buy another one. Well, it would last longer than that. He said, how long is it? It only lasted like two months. I only used it like 20 times. Anyway, so I'm not reacting to the dog jumping up. I'm not saying, you know, I already got him going on the platform yesterday. That's all he had to say. So I don't see him at all over there. I suddenly see him though. Right there. And he said, What are you doing in the initially? I mean, initially you're creating some kind of subtext with the dog is saying, Is it just me or it just always seems to be taking off? Oh, hi, Holly. Oh, I was thinking about you today, girl. If I get disappointed at all, I just I think of Holly. The one person who cared about me during the hurricane. There was other people, but they didn't give me gift baskets. <laughs> I think Mandy did give me some candy. Anyway, but you're just such a genuine person. And you're an artist, and I love that in people. I, people that are devoid of any artistic quality. If you said, what do they call those people? I think those are the sheep. I do, Holly. Those are the sheep. The people that, in whatever field that don't possess any art, they possess, I mean, I guess, if you said, who do they call those people? Engineers? <laughs> I don't mean the train kind, probably those two, though. <laughs> Okay, so now, that's how he is anyway, though. He's want me out of his sight. Oh, he stays right by me. He never runs away. He's very, very clever. And, oh, hi, Sharon. Yeah, it's only his second day. I mean, we need maybe just, let's do, what about this? What if we come out with just like a puppy film series first? A puppy ebook. How hard could that be? Oh! How hard could that be? You know, let's maybe think about doing something like that, girl. We could use this puppy, and good lord, I've got tons of puppy recall. If you said nobody could benefit from pu benefit from puppy recall, they all need puppy recall, you know, and just be able to show if if they can't figure it out by watching hours and hours of footage, it's hopeless. It's hopeless. So, all right, let me see if I can get. All right, so I've got the. Distracted him away real fast. So I remember yesterday I had him picking up the little shoe, but then I also found, so I don't have any reaction to that. If I sit there and laughed and did all this stuff, it's gonna keep doing it. If he said, well, when is that gonna be a problem? Pretty soon, when it starts getting bigger and bigger. Becoming conscious of what you want. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So 
So if you said, what do you want the dog to see? And this is where people go wrong. They want the dog to do something. If you said, what do you want? I want it to see something. If you said, what? Something about me. What I'm trying to do. So I don't have any reaction. If you said, should you laugh? So he wants attention. You've got these things are pretty easy to catch, and I've never had one yet that didn't wouldn't pick up this little sandal. And I still even have the thing. Said anyone will pick them. Yes, those lab puppies pick up my shoes all the time. I said, you know, how many shoes do you have? You see how excessive I am? I have like 40 pairs of shoes. He said, you can't find any of them? I can't. If I can, it's all the one left foot or something. Molly's not really helping my case. said the food and the thing was in his mouth at the same time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. So I'm still not looking at him. If you said, well, he's like your super fan. No, oh, yeah, clawing all over me. He said, but if you do that to Billy Joe Armstrong when he's singing, I'm sure he just still keeps singing. Oh, yeah, bullet in the Bible. You're clawing, pawing at him. And he said, does he even look? No, he didn't look at him. He will not give these people the time of day. So I'm close, but if you said, what are you trying to say that my hand is, the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. This would be better if it made a little bit more noise, yeah. <laughs> cute so no reaction it's a repetitive behavior and if you said well it's you know been to vets and had its ears taped and cut and all these things so it's been handled and so that's you know when it did that they hugged it and loved it I'm sure they did they're very lovable dogs they're big babies they're big babies oh hi Kelly hi Kelly oh hang on Sorry, that was him. I'm gonna take his ears down and see what they look like. But, all right, hang on, let me go get some more cheese.
Okay, so there's his ears. If you said they, yeah, those, those people know how to cut them. You said, should you only go to someone that knows how to cut them? Based on what I've seen in my lifetime, yeah. Yeah. Have you she said this place has done hundreds of them? Oh, I believe it, yes, I'm sure. At least. So he wants attention. I'm not gonna correct the dog for jumping up. For wanting attention? I just don't have any reaction to it. That does just doesn't work. This on the other hand, this one step process to getting food. <laughs> oh, Molly's onto it. So he needs to see that my hand is there to get the thing and give him the food, not mess around by his ears or do anything like that. It's, it's all very clinical. <laughs> it's all very clinical. If you said the food and the thing is in his mouth at the same time, yeah, it is. <laughs> If you say he's stuffing it in the, yeah, I am. I'm stuffing it in the corner of his mouth. Don't try to pull. The way their teeth are curved, it doesn't work. If you said he's really getting a good grip on it, yes, I'm seeing that. Noticing that. Whoops. You said that barking's ripping into your zen. Knock it off. It's ripping into my zen. <laughs> and so what would be better? Anything that probably, for a puppy maybe, their precursor was some kind of noise, you know, a bell, or I don't know if you want to do a bell, but that's why the keys are good. You can make it seem more noisy. If you said the jumping up will go away, it will when it doesn't work. If you said, what about sit? No, Angie Marie already uh, told me that their dog doesn't uh, come to them, but it does sit. If I could message her, then tell her. If you said, what are you going to tell her? Forget about sit. You've got to forget about that. If they think that that's what you want all the time, that's not good. If you said, right, just think of it with Mike. If you'd always told Mike, time to stop. Oh, this guy wants to just put a foot on the gas pedal. So that's what you have to understand. If you're doing sit first, you're installing brakes. So he looked back at my hands. If you said you better be fast, yeah, you really need to be. If you said you're not, I'm not that fast, but... Molly's a pointer, though, don't you see? She points it out all the time, but then she stands on top of it. If you said he's kind of shaking it? Yeah, kind of. If you said you want that, you don't not want it. If you said what would augment that tugging on it? So you bit your finger instead of the chicken. If you said, what do you want? I mean, theoretically, if the dog's energy is all coming at you, if you have some ability to, yay, bend it the other way, then you're doing the right thing. He almost smelled it or something. Molly knows to hover. You know, she just doesn't get, re her, it, her reinforcement's so random. Oh my God, I think it's coming up like Toberfest. She said, well, I just heard those Harleys. Uh -huh. 
If you said, what is it? What is he thinking? This other thing isn't working, but this has got a high success rate. So the two things were in his mouth at the same time. So anyway, he's doing awesome. But you know, that's what you're doing. I'm not saying, if you said, well, you're a stationary handler. I'm a stationary handler, but I'm on a location that I've already worked with driving the dog to. And you've got to think of it that way. The reason these dogs stay with me is I'm systemically driving them to the handler. If you said, we're from away from the handler. He said six feet away on a leash, like tugging him from two inches away. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Anyway, I hope you can see he's doing awesome. What are you looking for? Oh, that little smile. The little smile on the little face. A little smile on the little faces. So if you said you're going to start training with the pager. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> Here's the Doberman. I'm not going to sit there and say, I'm the sweetest dog ever. I don't want it to be the sweetest dog ever. I want it to be the meanest dog ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some people want, though. figured out already. He's already running. Oh my God, he's adorable. He's the cutest little guy in the world. You know, sorry, I've only had him a couple days. I've already got these behaviors. He'll come with me. He'll go on the platform and he'll get this little shoe. I'm gonna though, I'm gonna use keys next time though, just so there's a little precursor. <sighs> I've only had the dog since Tuesday. I've had it for 48 hours to start doing all this. So if you said that's how fast they learn, apparently. You know, I know if I go to a new place and the people are acting a certain way, I probably sure reflect my behavior, reflects their actions. <sighs> Why wouldn't it? How couldn't it? You're influenced by those around you. When people have an older dog that's all messed up, and I say, well, my God, when did you get it? Eight weeks old? <laughs> if you said, what do you know? They're hopeless. They're blaming the dog, and it's them. So, anyway. All right, so that's where we're at. Claire, I hope you're there, and you can see his, what his ears look like. <laughs> oh, he's got the long shoe cut. Hey, he's a little fancy. He's got the little shoe cut. Oh, he's a Serbian, this one. Oh, he's a Serb. <laughs> If you said it's that good, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, honey, Kelly, I hope you're getting some tips, girl. And I'm going to, um, what I'll do, because this place that I got him from gives me and gives you instructions. He already came. The ears were already taped up. But, I, I mean, I, I saved it so I can look and see if the dogs haven't chewed it up by now. Oh, yeah. They ate two chicken breasts because I accidentally left the microwave door open when I came outside in a minute ago. If you said so, they ate it all. All right, let's think about that, though. We might be able to get that out by Christmas. Um, puppy training, you know, if you're getting somebody, if you're getting a puppy for Christmas, you need this. If you're getting a puppy at all, blah, 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 blah. And everybody will be able to get their puppy picking stuff up and get their puppy running on a platform, get their puppy. If you said even if they only do half the stuff, yeah. <laughs> yes, even if they only did it half right. If you said, what do I think it takes to get people excited? For them to try it and get a result. You know, to try it and it works. If you say what try it and it doesn't work, oh, then there's just figure out place blame. Oh, I, it's me, it's my fault, or oh, he's stubborn, or you know, maybe it's a methodology because the fact that that's not going to work on any dog. Anyway, all right, I'm going to run through my training dogs and I'll be right back. <laughs> 